Hey guys, Paul here again from makeyourwebsite.com.au Going to go over grade 2 lesson 3 installing Joomla 1.5 on our web server. Now before we uh, make a start on that, I'm going to go over what Joomla is uh, and why we're going to be using Joomla. Joomla is a content management system which basically means that you can log in at any time and make changes to your website. So as long as you've got an internet connection and a website browser, you can log in and log into the administration area, or the back end um, that we call it, and basically update your text and images uh, and any, any other content on your website. Joomla is open source, which means it's free for you to use. It's part of the open source community, so you can it's continually being updated and maintained by people who donate their time and contribute their time to the, uh, to the Joomla project. Uh, there's thousands of extensions and add-ons for Joomla. Um, so this open source community, people um, contribute new extensions. Uh, an example of an extension would be a photo gallery. So for instance, if you had a website and you wanted to add a photo gallery in, instead of you actually building one yourself um, or having it developed for you at a cost, you can download a pre-built extension and actually link it into your website, um, which, which basically saves you time and money. Okay, it runs independently, so it runs on your own web server. So when we, what we're going to be doing is installing uh, the Joomla script on your web server. So if something happens, if, if Joomla um, stops uh, being developed or, or whatever, it doesn't mean it's not like other softwares um, that you rely on someone else hosting um, your program. Uh, your your um, script of Joomla actually sits on your server, so the carpet's not going to get pulled from under your feet. Uh, you own your website. Um, and probably one of the biggest things Joomla is it's got awesome support through the forum. So at forum.joomla.org, um, if you ever have any problems or questions or anything like that, you can log a question through their forum, and you'll notice that within usually a couple of hours at the absolute latest, um, I've had to wait as a day, you'll get someone from around the globe will answer your question um, and give you some feedback and help on that, and that's all completely free. As I said, what they basically hope is that at some stage you'll get to a stage where you'll be able to contribute and answer other people's questions. So that's what keeps the, the whole um, the whole project free, I guess, is part of the open source uh, community. Okay, so moving across now, we need to go to our email. Uh, we need to log on to our control panel for our hosting. So similar to what we did yesterday when we set up our email, we're going to go across and log on to our control panel. Okay, so we get to the make your website hosting email um, when we first got that set up. Okay, so we need to once again go to our cPanel login, um, grab those details there, grab your username and password, and that will allow us to log on. Okay, so once you log into there, you'll see that our control panel comes in, so I'm already logged into mine, you'll just need to put in your credentials. Scroll down now, and we need to find the, under software and services, we need to find Fantastico Deluxe. Okay, so click on Fantastico Deluxe once you've logged into your cPanel. Okay, once in Fantastico Deluxe, we need to find our Joomla 1.5 install script. So click on Joomla 1.5, and you'll notice that this pops up with the screen, we need to find the new installation link there. So we need to click on new installation. Okay, so install on domain, so leave that as is, that'll just be your domain name that you've uh, registered earlier on. In the directory, we leave that one blank, so don't type anything in there. The admin access is your admin name, the login name for your admin, and the username, um, sorry, your, your login username, and the password is obviously your password. Now, don't use password, you need to come up with something a little bit more secure uh, than, than that. Okay, the base configuration, this is the administrator's, administrator's email. Okay, so it can be the email address you just recently set up, or it can be a, another email address. Administrator's full name. 
and the site name. Now the site name can either be your domain name or it can be the actual business name. Okay, we're going to leave the install sample data ticked because we want to see what the website looks like with a bit of uh, sample data. Okay, and once we've done that, click on install Joomla 1.5. Okay, so what this is doing now is just running through the installation process and installing it. Okay, so you can see now uh, with step two of three, we need to just click on um, finish installation. waiting for this to load. The script just needs to load on the server and here we go. So now we can see that both the configuration file and the database have been configured. Alright, just a note not to remove the text file from the server from the installation directory. Okay, now to get emails of the installation emailed through is always a good idea. So that will email you your username and password that you've just recently set up and send that email away. Okay, once so that's been done, we can just click on uh, back to Joomla, and you can see there's the email that's popped up there, just confirming the details. Okay, now back over at Joomla, uh, sorry, in the, the Joomla main screen, we can see that we can visit the site um, of where the installation is, so we just click on this visit site link here. And you'll notice that it opens up with the default Joomla screen. Okay, so this is just a default template with all the dummy data in it. So you can see that that's our domain name or our web address up the top there. We can also change it to www.golem.fa and it'll be the same thing. That's just our domain name. Alright, so as I said, at the moment this is just the the default template that Joomla comes up with. Um, so in our next lesson, um, or in future lessons, we're going to be going over the process um, of importing our design template that we created in Artisteer into Joomla, um, so then we can see what our new design looks like uh, with all this dummy information. And then from there we're going to start removing that information or the content that's in there and adding in our own content. So that's it for this lesson and we'll see you next time when we import our Artisteer design template into Joomla. See you.